damn tweakers. I bought this medium red 97 Ram as a theft recovery. They had some shitty little deck in here, which was probably stolen. And I just took all this shit out. They had some, some speaker wire running down to some freaking house speakers in the back seat. So I'm taking a little tweaker out of this truck here. They had everything electrical taped and package taped. Because they're dumb shits. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm going to get rid of the, all this Maj Paj stuff. Hook the speaker wires up to the factory speakers. Uh, if you don't own a power probe yet, they're freaking awesome. Uh, I can tell these are for the speakers. This one's for the power. So that pink one is uh, power all the time. And then this red and white one here is key on power. Let's put the key on. Plug in the deck, make sure everything works. Okay, we can test the radio now. So we have the ground hooked up. The battery wire to the pink one and the key on uh, red to red. Try to turn it on, the key off, so we don't have the two swapped. Okay, so we know it works. All right, next, I'd like to cut all the wires about the same length, strip them all back. Uh, the two colors go to a speaker. The one with the black is the ground. So this is a speaker, the purple is a speaker, green is a speaker, why is this speaker? Most little stereos have a diagram on them. And then for the vehicle, just type in what you're working on. Typed in 97 RAM wiring diagram and hit images. First little chart popped up. So I'll just go through and I'll start with any speaker. I could start with the right front which is the grays. Grays are on the end, so I'll start with there. That'll match up the two factory speaker wires. Bought a little, whoop. bought a little cheesy stereo adapter to fit in here. It just screws on right there. This just slides into here. Bend the little tabs up. Uh, if I would have known that all these were still good, I would have just bought a little wiring adapter and simply plugged it into here and wired the stereo, but I figured everything was pretty hacked up. Just the power and grounds were hacked up, so. so yep, yeah, I'll finish adding those up. And I'll put a couple small zip ties in here. And obviously this is the antenna. Plug that in, plug in the antenna, test it out. And we'll screw it on, slap the dash panel back in. I am test fitting the deck into the little adapter. This snapped in. It is a little off here. And if I jam it back to where it lines up, the cover comes loose. I want the cover nice and tight. Whoever put this in last really screwed that screw in there. So you can see it's off quite a bit. So I'm going to drill it, 
pull back on the drill bit so it bores it out a little bit. Test that out, make sure you got this in the right way, not upside down. And then this upper tab uh, hits a little bit on that little pocket. So I'll probably trim that little tab off. Okay, I got the stereo in. The screws that were already in there were huge. The holes, so I put some big old screws in there. I had this extra one. I had a big gap behind it, so I drilled a hole and put a little nut behind it as a, for a washer. That thing's, that thing's nice in there. I decided I'd clean up the gauges a little bit. I had her. I had them pretty, pretty shitty. So I have this little deal. I'm taking off the fuel pressure one because that freaking gauge is terrible. And it, even with the snubber, it goes crazy. Like I have a cover and stuff I might put back on. Right here. This is taped up. I bought the truck stolen, so I might take the tape off, put a couple screws in there. I'm guessing that's all that needs. This cheesy thing just sticks on a double back tape. I might drill a couple small holes and add some zip ties. So yeah, clean it up a little bit. Got some awesome uh, electrical tape over my gen light me doing the external regulator because the computer was fried that controls the alternator i think i can add a diode or something and get that light off but i mean i guess i could just take the bulb out okay well i'm still on the truck ripping shit apart i planned on just slapping this radio in real quick but then i thought i'd clean up the gauges then i got rid of the fuel pressure gauge uh so yeah now i'm mocking up this stuff i bought the single pod i had a my old an old gauge zip tied on it got rid of one redoing it redoing all the wiring i'll kind of show you what i'm doing here Could have redone the zip tie so this piece wasn't here and I could have pushed it back all the way so you couldn't have seen any white, but don't care that much. Zip tied to that. Drilled a couple small holes inside here, ran another zip tie. Drilled a small hole, ran the wires through there with a little heat shrink. Put a couple vacuum caps on. Gonna have the boost line just coming up on the side. This is a freaking tow truck, not a show truck. And I'm just gonna route the wires down and tie them in where they need to go. This kind of slips over the factory piece, but I had a dub double gauge. I was gonna put it down here, but I hate pillar gauges with a passion. So I decided to go with this one. I can see all my other gauges just fine. Okay, got the stereo in. Match the color with the closest color I could with the dash. Got that working. Got the gauges installed, wires ran down. We'll finish wiring up the gauges in the morning or later tonight in the shop. I'm gonna go eat some eat some dinner. Got the gauges in, wired up. Now we have this gauge and the radio with the into the headlight. So these get brighter lights on they dim down now this has a bulb a 
think you can put a little colored condom on the bulb. I'll see if I can get a green one. And yeah, so I got a hidden switch running off the clutch switch or the safety neutral switch. So I can flip it off at night, have a little bit extra security till I get the alarm with the GPS installed. Put the stereo in. Bracket turned out real good. Not hard to tell right now. Uh, zip tied the trailer brake up to the AFC Live for now. Put the gauges in. Zip tied as well. Of course. I got this color to match pretty good, but you can flip through your colors here. Stupid little shit like this drives me nuts. So this was a little bluer, but it's probably the closest. And then I'm probably going to rewire these, so Right now, they're on all the time with the key on. I'll probably rewire them so the backlight's not on with the lights, without the lights. And then when I turn the key, the light's on. This one will dim down a little and this one will be normal. I cannot stand bright lights. Fog lights are still looking good. The video on those. Car trailer loaded up. I like a six hour drive tomorrow, so I took all the wheel bearings, fixed the flat tire, or a nail screw in the tire, and I got the spare loaded, got my scraps loaded. I gotta go to my house, load up some other stuff, and I'll be good to go.